Next dresser. One, two, three, four, five. I would say she. to hear Summer yell out Shanice's name. I'm just like, girl, that's supposed to be your friend. And it wasn't even your question. Clocking. So that's like, ooh, that's the shady boots. What's up, y'all? It's Brian Keith, and I'm back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Summer House Martha's Vineyard, Season 2, Episode 2. And like I said, I love this show. It's like a, it's just enough drama where I'm just like, okay. But I like to get to know the characters. And so in the next episode, they're going to bring in more people. So I'm definitely vibing with this show. Um, but y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into the video. Yeah. Let me check my check my shit real quick. How did in the fire come out? I'm a flame and if you wanna play with me, you can't play in me. On the playground, bitch, you can't play with me. Got it, one it, secure it. Oh, so tell me why I just got back from the gym and I went to Chipotle. I usually go to Chipotle because it's a good source of protein. I always get like um brown rice, black beans, chicken, um lettuce, and tomatoes. That's it. Simple. Um, I always get that as a good source of protein. Try to bulk up. Why is it that every time I go to Chipotle, like I went over there um where I live at. I went to the other one instead of the one I used to go by the gym because I had to go to do some shopping and get I try to buy a couch. The girl gave me half a scoop, and I'm looking at her like she's like anything else. I'm like, yeah, you shook out the the ladle, baby. Give me another scoop, and it's not gonna be double. If it's gonna be double, you need to give me like at least four scoops because you do a small portion. There should be no reason that I have to come home, chop up some more chicken breast, grill it, and put it on my bowl. The fuck? But I'm not trying, we're not even talking about that, y'all. <laughs> I was like, why y'all being so stingy with the meat? The fuck? So we continue with the episode how, you know, everybody's over here chilling on the boat. And, you know, Summer and Alex already have this conversation about what's going on and where they stand. So after that, everybody's talking. The boys are downstairs, the girls are upstairs. Everybody's talking like, yeah, you know, Alex, what's going on with you and Summer? And Alex is like, nothing's going on. Like, I feel like she has something, you know, towards me and, you know, she likes me, but I'm just chilling and I'm vibing. And my whole thing is Alex really is a fuck boy. That's just what it is, right? However, he's trying to mask it that she has this situation and she likes me. My whole thing is we don't know what happened when they were in Los Angeles and how they were. He's looking at it like it was just a casual hookup. She's looking at it like it's a casual hookup, but it does seem like she has more feelings into it because girl, why are you so upset or whatever that he didn't invite you to this thing? The person you've been inside of. My whole thing is I do feel like Alex didn't invite her to the um, social event because he felt like if he would have extended an invite, she would have been more in love. I don't want to say in love, but he would like him more. I feel like Alex is trying to play mind games with her and that's just what it is. But my whole thing is Summer did something in this episode where I was just like, girl, you already got too many strikes against you for you to play the mean girl, <coughs> but we're going to talk about it. So, um... Later that night, you know, they had this whole decades night and everybody's doing like, you know, their decades. Welcome to the groovy decade night. How y'all mother I will love Doing their 70s, 50s, 60s, all that, right? So, you know, Bria, she gets up. She's like, yeah, you know, I'm going to be doing like the rap um, from like, what, the early 2000s, I believe. So she was like back in 2011. I think me and Bria are around the same age, too. She was like, yeah, back in 2011, I was in high school. We was over here. I was in a rap group. The girl has no rhythm. I don't know what's going on. You got Jasmine over here looking like Molly, literally looking like Molly the maid. I'm like, Jasmine, you are not doing yourself any favors because everybody's like, okay, she dressed up to be a housewife, but isn't that what she is already? I'm like... Child. And then somebody called her grandma. And I'm like, Jordan, you be doing these subtle digs. And I'm really starting to see Jordan for her works. What you giving? What you giving? Grandma. Because <laughs> I'm like, Jordan, you doing these subtle digs at Jasmine. And I feel like Jasmine really wants to be your friend. So she's not going to call you out like she should call you out. Um, But yeah. So everybody just laughing at her. Nick gets up and he's like, they're, they're like, who are you? He's like, I'm Arthur Ashe. If you don't know who Arthur Ashe is, then you just don't get it. And I'm just like, I don't get it, low-key. Yeah, she gotta explain the entire because I don't know. If you guys don't know who Arthur Ashe is, you gotta get yeah, familiar. Arthur! And maybe I shouldn't know who Arthur Ashe is. Don't hold me. I went to HBCU too. I don't know who this man is. Everybody else was confused too. 
But we found out that he was a famous tennis player. He had really a lot of style. Cool. Amir dressed up as Nick. I'm like, Amir, stop. <laughs> Everybody's clowning on Nick. And, you know, it was funny. Um, Noelle, I think she was like 70s. Like, she looked really good. Um, Jordan, she was like a pinup girl. She was she was cute. I ain't gonna hold you. Um, I'm starting to like Noelle more and more and more. I feel like she's just a fun girl. She's very vibey. Oh, I believe in love. I believe in the devil's lettuce. Oh, yes, yes, yes. She's the other 70s groovy. Yes, we do. So, you know, all the everybody played Truth and Dare, this and the third. And first of all, they voted on who was the, um, the best and I guess um, Preston won. He did like 90s. Oops. But Preston was cool. I like Preston's outfit. But you know, baby, the, everybody's over here playing Truth or Dare. They're trying to get home um, and they're trying to like, you know, do all these like, who is this? Who is this? Who is this? I'm just going to skip to the part. They talk about Shanice and they're like, oh, who's the worst dresser? And then so, it's the question I'm into her summer. But summer's like, Shanice. Dresser. One, two, three, four, five. I would say Shanice. <laughs> I'm like, girl, that's supposed to be your homegirl. So Shanice didn't hear it and they come back. And everybody's like, oh yeah, Shanice, Shanice. Shanice's like, what happened? And they were like, oh, who's the, who is the worst of the best dressers? And we were like, you are. Yeah. <laughs> huh. I love her. Because I'm the realest one and y'all wear fake shit. No, my is fake so Shanice, she walks off because she feels some type of way. She's just like, dang, like, okay. So she goes upstairs and we find out that, you know, one, you know, she lost her job. They relocated her from one location to another location and then fired her. So now she doesn't have like the, you know, her normal income coming in and she feels insecure because she couldn't buy new clothes. And that's a real ass thing. Like people go through financial bouts in their, you know, their life. Up, and then they happen to fire me. Summer knows that, so her bringing that up, it hurts me. So for, I did, I felt like it was kind of fucked up for, for Summer who knew that Shanice went through all that and then for you to say that, oh, she's the worst dress. And mind you, I don't see anybody over here that's over here a fashionista or a fashion girl. So for y'all to be talking about, oh, who's the worst dresser, to be honest, boop, 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 all y'all. You're cocky. And one thing I'll have to give Nick, even though Nick's style is not my style, he does look good most of the time. Like, let's, let's call the spade the spade, right? So for her to be like, oh, well, you know, Shanice is the worst dresser. Even Bria was like, girl, she don't dress any better. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. <laughs> it's like, girl, she don't dress better than you. She don't dress any better than you. <laughs> 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 but like, they go upstairs and try to calm her down. She come down and everything seemed like to be square. They start dancing, shaking ass and stuff. So Amir is like over here messaging his girlfriend. And one thing about Amir and his girlfriend situation, I feel like he's using a lot of verbiage to make her seem like a bitch. He's like, oh yeah, you know, my girlfriend, she'll cut my dick off. She'll spling around. She'll over here choke me. She's doing that. And he's making her seem more of a um, hostile character then I think he is really understanding because us as a viewer, I'm automatically thinking she's a fucking bitch and she's gonna come in on 10, right? So he starts texting her like, oh, what should I eat? In my head, I'm thinking like, he's, he's asking her, what should I eat, babe? Uh, You know, I'm thinking he's talking about he wanna eat her out. Maybe I'm wrong, <laughs> but that's what, I, that's what I got. But she was just like, okay, that was weird. That came out of nowhere. Is that towards me? So he go, he go step, you know, excuse himself, goes downstairs. He's like, what are you talking about? She was like, no, that was just weird. Da, da, da. He was like, no, because all these girls are shaking ass and everybody's looking. I'm not trying to do that because, you know, you're my girl. It's, it's not my style. You know, all of the girls are dancing and I'm just not trying to be around it. Nick's looking around, looking at whoever's ass is next to him. Going and my whole thing is this. If they are looking or not, I don't think y'all want to fuck them. Y'all are friends. So I'm like, if I see one of my friends shaking ass, I'm like, yeah, girl, shake that ass. I mean, I'm one girl. I'll probably shake that ass. Look at that. <laughs> but I'm just like, it should not be that deep. Like, you could have a mixed group of friends that are men and women, and you everybody having a good time. Don't mean you want to fuck them. So if his girlfriend is that insecure, then, I mean, that's on her. But I feel like Amir is painting her out to be that way, right? So the next day, the groups get split in half. Um, we have Preston, Jordan, Summer, 
um, they go to brunch and everybody else go to the gym. Hold up. I know. Now Nick child, what happened with Nick? He just is on my body. He was on- Girl, I would went to brunch too. I'm with Jordan, I'm a, I'm a brunch bitch. I'm trying to drink my mimosas. I'm trying to eat my food. Okay, my chicken and waffles. I am have my baguettes. Like, I'm going with them. But they get in the car and they talk about how Nick is very handsy. And to be honest with Nick, we see all the, the flashbacks. Go back. Sexy. I'm attached to you the whole week. This is my, my hand. I know. And to me, Nick is single. Because if Tasia really was his girlfriend, I feel like Nick is being hella disrespectful because he's touching girls. He said, oh, you know, my hand's right here. Yeah, you know, da, da, da. He's just saying a lot of things like last year and for him to have a girlfriend and, and his whole thing when he went down to the, with the boys, he was like, oh, well, you know, oh, that's just, how, she know how I am. How are you? Because to be honest, Nick, I ain't gonna try to hold you. Don't nobody want you besides Tasia. So it's just one of those things where I just feel like with him, he come across not like creepy, but he come across like, it's just like really on the low key. And he do little things just like, you got a girlfriend. And I feel like if Summer really was pressing on him, he will press back if you know what I mean. So maybe he should figure out his relationship status situation because with Tasia, I hope that she's not the type of girl that's going to just like let somebody do that because for me it's disrespectful, period. So that it was like, uh, if you're not showing me who you really are so you can't try to no, type right. of thing. Oh. Um, I think she did have a conversation with Summer about the whole um, Alex situation. And she was just trying to figure out like, girl, I knew y'all was chilling, but I didn't know that y'all was over here like, what is the history behind y'all? And she said, it's cool, nothing to worry about. Take it out and having sex is two different things. She was like, yeah, we did that, but you know, it's not that deep. If you want to go after him, girl, go after him, that's cool. That's why I said, like, if you, if you want to explore this, go ahead. Like, I'm not interested in that. But they have this thing called the truth booth now. So she's over here in the truth booth, like, okay, why she even questioning me about this and the third? If she got, if she want him, don't you go. You don't have to ask me, you don't have to do this. But we know how girls are. And my whole thing with Summer is, how are you mad when you told her one thing, she finds out another thing, and obviously she has something, interest towards Alex, so she's trying to touch base with you, like, girl, you know, I didn't know it was that. So I, we all know how when people have sex, people grow feelings. So she's just trying to test test the waters and make sure the temperature is cool, but you're telling her one thing and you're getting your truth booth and now you want to try to shade her. Like saying, you and I do and I don't owe you an explanation of what I do with that person if you don't even know that person. But you told her two, like she, you told her one thing, and now we're learning another thing. So right now, Summer's really not. She's not really, you know. <sighs> she's losing points for me right now. So like I said, the guys go downstairs and they talk to Nick, and they're just like, you know. So how, you know, how do you feel about everything that goes on? You know, blah 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 blah. blah. So, you know, Nick is like, yeah, you know, I'm chilling, I'm vibing, everything is cool. They're like, okay, well, you know, Preston's like, well, you know, I just want to let you know, like, what is the perception is is that you're very handsy and you know this is what's going on notice you can get a little handsy i didn't touch anyone last night okay i'm just gonna wait, walk wait, wait, wait. tell me tell me tell me for real. so nick is just like okay if everybody has such an issue with me they should have said something and i do feel like that and they said like nick maybe you should bring it up like when we have dinner blah 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 so hopefully next episode that that's what happens because like this is not looking good for nick and with summer Nick and Summer both are really on my shit list right now, and Alex. Um, I feel like a lot of people are doing a lot of things that's really weird. Like I said before, I feel like they were trying to ice out um, Jasmine. Um, Jasmine really came on this trip solo for Dello. She really came on this trip really having Alex and Bria behind her, but I mean, they were still hanging out with the collective. And I feel like Jasmine should have conversations with everybody because everybody excluded her besides Bria and Alex. So everybody else besides that should have be she should have a conversation with because they didn't invite you out. None of it. So I don't know. That was the episode. Um uh, I'm excited to see um next episode. We're gonna have Mariah come back and they talk about Phil coming back. I don't mind, but I'm ready for Mariah come back because like I said before, y'all fucked over Mariah and Jordan like I said in that episode you made it seem like she shouldn't be putting her hands on her she should not do that and I'm just like girl it was a tap so like like I said before y'all kicked out Mariah and Jasmine you dumb as hell because you live in a car with that girl 
that was your that was your ride or die. And you basically threw her away for your house bunny girls and your new friends. And you threw her away and she had to leave involuntarily because y'all voted her out. And it was crazy. And at the end of the episode, at the end of the season, you see Summer knocking <laughs> Bria upside her head. Boop, 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 boop. I don't condone violence, but it's just crazy to me. So hopefully, you know, Mariah has her redemption. I'm waiting to see it. I'm excited. But y'all let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Brian Keith, LG, Black Pew. Bet you didn't know we the Holy Trinity. Now let the God stop a jaw and break your head. Step into the room and get up in the bed. It's too sweet. That's because I'm good. It tastes sour because I'm better than the hood. Uh, because I get you hyped, but when I run it all around, because I excite you. Let me talk, let me talk real quick. You can't even get, get with the shit. You want to go toe to toe with my flow? The sour candy, all I really have to fall. Uh, now I got to go. Got to go, got to go, got to go. Bye bye.